Our team coverage continues now oh, with Tori Cooper in it. Cobb County. And Tori, um, right now we just heard moments ago from Cobb County's top official, Commission Chair Lisa Cupid, speaking out about the backlash. Yeah, to say that Cobb County Chairwoman Lisa Cupid was disappointed in the MLB decision would be an understatement. She really talked about the fact that this deflated the Cobb County community. Now, she says that she learned about it via a phone call from the Major League Baseball Players Association today, and that's when she said that she really tried to make Cobb County's case. Now, we asked her, asked her if we could learn more about that conversation that she had with the MLB, and she didn't want to go into details, but what she did say is obviously that this was a major hit to the community. Now, during that press conference, she also really harped on the fact of the different areas that we're really expecting to see some influx of some good revenue from this event. She talked about the fact that the hospitality industry would obviously be impacted as well as the tourism that they were really looking forward to. But she says this was really going to impact the working people here in Cobb County that were looking to rebuild following the pandemic. We have a lot of people who will be impacted by this. As much as we were buoyed by the decision that they made to um, come here, we were deflated in a sense when we learned that they were um, going to make a decision otherwise. Our economy here in, in Georgia and in Cobb County, it depends on travel and tourism. It depends on retail. Now, she also mentioned that although this is disappointing, this now has thrusted the state of Georgia back into the spotlight, and it allows us to now further discuss the key issues that surround the voting legislation. Coming up at 9, we're going to unpack more pieces from the press conference here earlier today, and we're going to hear from baseball fans. Reporting live in Cobb County, I'm Tori Cooper, CBS 46 News. Tori, thank you.